desktop users, you're going to want to go under vendors, choose the vendors that you do want to be able to give a 1099 to, click on the pencil, make sure that their address and legal information is updated as far as name and where they should be getting a 1099 sent to, go to tax settings, make sure that you have a tax identification number and that you have marked them as eligible. The next step is you're going to want to make sure that you go under vendors and that you find your wizard. This is how you do all the mapping and where all the magic truly happens inside of QuickBooks. You're going to choose whether you want to map your 1099 NEC or miscellaneous. And this is where you're going to choose your different expense categories and whether you want those on the form or not. The last tip that I want to give you is if you are paying any of your expenses, contractors, or anyone else through a debit or credit card, you do not need to provide them with a 1099 because their merchant will be sending them a 1099K. Let me know if you enjoyed this tip below, and I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick.